Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your black screen issue with OBS Studio. First of all, the first part of my video will talk about if you uh, you try to run OBS Studio on a laptop because a lot of people have an issue with that. And after that, I will have more a general guide for everybody if you have like a desktop computer or even a laptop. So for the laptop, uh, the thing that I want to mention, if you have an Intel processor with an integrated video card, normally they all have an integrated video card, plus an NVIDIA GPU, uh, you will probably have issue. I will tell you why. Because when you're using a laptop, uh, normally uh, when it's you, it, it's going in power saving, uh, it, they will use the integrated video card on the Intel uh, processor. So the thing is, uh, when you use OBS, OBS will take uh, the, the most powerful GPU on your computer and it's your NVIDIA. But it doesn't understand because NVIDIA is not like rendering any windows right now because it's running on your Intel uh, CPU. So I will show you how to change that. So right graphic setting over there, open it, uh, go desktop app, click browse. And you want to go in your OBS uh, folder. So uh, local disk, pro program files, OBS studio, bin 64 bit. And after that, open your execute and add it. After that, you need to click option. This is your graphic pre preference. For me right now, I'm running on a desktop with an uh, NVIDIA card and an AMD and AMD Ryzen, it, they don't have any uh, integrated GPU. So right now, power saving and high performance for me, it's the same. If you are in a laptop right now, power saving will be your Intel video card, like the integrate chip on your CPU and high performance will be your GeForce. So if you want to display capture, for example, your uh, laptop, you will have to select power saving here, really important. And normally all the, the people that have, have currently an issue with their laptop, 90% of uh, your black screen will be fixed. So um, really important to do that. If you want to stream with OBS with the NVEC uh, encoder on your GPU, the NVIDIA GPU, you will need to select the high performance one uh, to make sure it's working properly. So that's about it. I'm going to remove it because me, I'm on a desktop. So this is for laptop. After that, if you're running a laptop and you still have an issue or you're using a desktop and you still also have an issue with OBS Studio, the first thing that you will need to do is right click on it, run as an admin, open this, click yes. In it will open. Now we're gonna see the game capture over there. Double click on it. So the first thing that you really need to make sure is use anti cheat compatibility hook is checked. Really important. I saw like a, a lot of game with battle eyes, uh, anti cheat. Uh, what, what is it? Easy anti cheat. Um, it's causing issue. I can't capture the game. And this is because of that. You need to check this. And honestly, like 90% of the game, you will capture it no problem. Uh, if you still have an issue with the capture, uh, even if you check this one, you will need to look at the mode over there. Uh, by default, capture any full screen application. Honestly, it's working fine. But if you have an issue, go with capture specific window and go there and select your game. So for example, me, I had like issue to uh, capture Darksider Genesis. So this is the way I, with this way I did it and it fixed my problem. So that pretty much it for OBS. Um, if you still have an issue uh, with the capture and uh, you, you did check the uh, anti-cheat over there, uh, try Borderless. I have a couple of games also that I had the issue and with Borderless inside of the game, my game capture was working. But when I was put, put, putting the game in full screen, I, I cannot like uh, game capture the game. So really important, try Borderless because game capture is really important because you're not losing a lot of performance if you compare with display capture. So really important when you're playing a video game, go with game capture. One last thing that I want to say, always update your OBS because a lot, uh, some per people told me like, I don't understand, I can't capture game from uh, Xbox app. So the U UWP game uh, and OBS did the update, I think six months ago or even a year. I don't remember uh, how long, but they fixed that. So really important, always make sure that you have the latest driver because they fix a lot of stuff and a lot of like game crash, game capture and stuff like that. So you really need the latest version of OBS. 
so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in in the youtube section try to post me like a, a lot of information like your uh, your computer integrate video card gpu what kind of encoder that you're using if you want more information about obs look at my video i have a complete guide explaining what you need to use how to optimize it and what are your different encoder option that you can use i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace